Hello everyone. This is uh, part two of our drive unit exploration. People have been uh, leaving lots of comments and feedback. They want to see more of the inside. Um, I don't want to destroy this drive unit because it's uh, going to be used in a secret feature project. Um, there'll be more on that coming up. But uh, I do want to, I am curious myself, and I do want to give you guys as much of a view as I can. So I've pulled this tail cover off. Inside here you can see there's the resolver and a spring-loaded uh, thermal sensor that presses up against the motor windings which are available through this hole. Um, there's also this uh, spring-loaded tang here that uh, presses on the inner race of a small looks like a skateboard ball bearing here. Um, my guess is that's for grounding so that uh, there isn't any eddy current circulating through the main bearing. Uh, don't know what else that would be for. So um, on here we have the resolver ring that rides in here to generate a sine wave that's used by the, it's a two phase uh, deal uh, used by the motor controller to know the position. And then we have a, what looks to be a ball bearing in there. Um, it's not ceramic. Um, there is an oil gallery here that floods this whole area with uh, uh, Dexron to lubricate and cool this thing. The shaft isn't hollow on this side at least, so there's no, uh, no way for, like on the Model S, they pump glycol through that to cool the rotor. But that doesn't exist here. And you can see, I guess this must be a return gallery. It's on the bottom. Okay, so let's go in for a closer look here. This is the money shot. This is what everyone wants to see. What's that rotor look like? It's really hard to get a good view. Let's try... Yeah, that angle looks better. And uh, let's see if I can rotate it with one hand here. Yeah, it's got significant cogging torque, like a reluctance motor should. It, uh, it takes a lot to get it moving, but once it moves, it's pretty easy. You can see a balancing uh, mark there, and of course you can see the windings. They're much uh, thinner diameter than I expected. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's about all I can see. see here's a close-up of the bearing. And then I think we've seen everything else um, you know, in differential input, or output, I should say. Oil filter and oil pump. And uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, let me know if you have any further questions. I did try to uh, split this housing. Um, it doesn't want to budge, so uh, I'm not sure what's pressed and where. It could just be the bearings, but I'm not going to force it and without knowing more. I don't want to wreck this drive unit, as you know. All right, uh, please subscribe for more, and uh, let me know if you want to see anything I can show you without uh, destroying this.